Hi everybody, Faith with Danny Bell's Just Dessert, and today we are pairing a blueberry galette with... We have a sparkling Shiraz and a ruby port. So, blueberry galette. It's not a pie. A pie is a fruit or savory dish with a crust and a filling, but a galette is pastry that's wrapped around fresh fruit and it's amazing. You can use any type of fruit you want. As we're doing blueberry today, but there's strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, mixed fruit, I've done them all. Peach, nectarine, any fruit you can think of, you can use for a galette. What I like about the galette, what makes it special to me is the crust. Also, a galette is not baked in a pie pan, it's baked on a baking sheet. And the dough is made from scratch and it is just amazing. And our sommelier, Sarah, has come up with two great wines to pair with it, and we're gonna ask her a little bit about that, but before we do that, let's introduce our co-host, Heather. How you Hi. doing today, girl? Hey. I'm great today. This is gonna be, uh, I think, one of my favorites. I love blueberries. Did you not choose this dessert, Heather? Shh, you don't have to tell everyone. <laughs> it's summer, they're in season. Hi. They are, and they're but delicious. Yeah. I love blueberries myself, it's just, I just love blueberries, period, so. It's my favorite fruit. So we just got to pick a dessert and Heather's turn was this week and she chose blueberry. So tell us a little bit about the great wines you've chosen to go with it. Okay, well, we're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna mix things up a little bit. So today I have something that is not so sweet. This is a Shiraz. So the Molly Duker Shiraz comes from uh, South, South Australia. Shiraz is also known as Syrah. When it's grown in Australia, they call it Shiraz. Same grape different uh, climate and it's very full bodied and it's very fruit forward and it's very luscious mm. and it's got a little hint of chocolate at the end too so you're really? gonna be able yeah you're gonna be able to taste that. that but i chose this for blueberries uh because this is gonna have some deep dark cherries some cassis some of that dark berry flavor and i think it's really gonna bring out the juiciness of the uh the fresh blueberries in the galette so shall we no i'm like we shall I'm ready Heather, you want to slice this time? I'm sorry. I'll, I'll pass it. How do I slice Wait. this thing? Let me let me show. Maybe you should. Yeah, yeah. Just like a pie? Just like a pie. Just go for it. One of the notably interesting things about the Shiraz is that it's sparkling. Shiraz generally isn't sparkling. Generally, you think of champagnes or Ostis as sparkling, but every now and then you find something a little bit fun, and that's what we're going to do today. Oh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> no, you're not. This All is right. just the juiciness of the berries. Once they cook down, they become. Oh, isn't that luscious? Look at that. And that's just about with any fruit that you use with a galette. And when you mix it with this crust, you're in for such a treat. Again, this is a very simple dessert to make. It's a very simple crust, four ingredients, flour, salt, sugar, butter. Get it together, sit it in the fridge for maybe an hour. I like to let it sit for at least for overnight. The filling is equally easy. Some berries, whatever your berries are, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of flour, and a little bit of lemon juice. And Fill the, the crust up with the fruit, wrap the crust around it, make your little laps all the way around, bake it on a cookie sheet, you have yourself a galette. Faith, this smells fantastic. Thank you. Let's try this bad boy. Mm. I go crust mm. first. <laughs> That's amazing. You can taste all of the blueberryness, the freshness of the blueberry. It's so fresh. Mm. And keep in mind this is not sweet, so just to let you know. We're gonna chase it with Sarah's great choice. Mm. See, it still that works so though, amazing. it still works. Sorry, that's it's very amazing. Forward. That's amazing. I like it. I like it a lot. I like this wine. Can I have a sip without the berries? <laughs> you must, you should. It's sparkling Shiraz you don't find every day. Oh, that's so good. But that homemade crust is everything. You know, it, it is, and there's a little bit of oak in this. You can taste the oak, and that actually kind of enhances the, the, the crust. I don't know, it brings out like a vanilla, I don't know. That's kind of fun too. Yeah, I see exactly what you mean. So the next wine we're pairing with this uh, blueberry galette is a ruby port. Now, if you've been watching our show, you'll know that I like to pair port with chocolate, but a ruby port, which is not aged in oak, generally, it's really gonna bring, uh, bring out some of the blueberries here too. Now, this is a fortified wine. They do add a little bit of brandy in. They stop the fermentation process while there's still some residual sugar in here and then add a little brandy. So it's gonna be a little higher in the alcohol content, but that's okay. It sure is. Sure is. This is going to be uh, some red fruit, and a, it's going to be very luscious, velvety, fruity, oh, slightly look at that. sweet. It's a beautiful color. And this is really going to bring out uh, the juiciness of this tart. Galette, excuse me. Yeah. Blueberries are a little bit tart. 
but you want them to stay that way. So you don't want to dump a lot of sugar into your galette. A quarter cup of sugar, all you need. It's going to bring out the juiciness of the berries and the actual flavor of the berries. You want the berries to speak. You want the berries to speak. Very nice. Thank you. They are oh, just so mm. delicious. So fresh. Oh, I like that much better. Mm. That works. That great. works. That works. That's amazing. It follows it down like velvet. It does. This is so smooth. So Heather, let's get a report it, it, from you, honey. <laughs> Out of the two, this is definitely my favorite. I think so too. So there's a smoothness to it that pairs well with the blueberries, the fresh, bold blueberries. It doesn't overpower it. This was very great too, but I think I just prefer not the, the bubbly taste of the wine. I think this is smoother. It's just it delicious. Just feels, it feels like the velvety, Texture, mm -hmm. you were it's got a great about. mouth feel. Yeah, it's a good word for you it. You can though. really, really taste it in this wine. I, I, along with the I like the ruby pour better too. I think that just works. It works fantastic. Yeah, it does. It's really good. Oh, that's so good. Your galette only needs about four cups of whatever fruit you're going to be using. Again, very simple crust, four ingredients. Make the crust, let it sit overnight. It's always a little better if it sits overnight. Roll it out the next morning, put your fruit in the middle. Make sure you wrap it and now, because that kind of gives it that French look that you're looking for. I always do a little egg wash so I get the brown um, color that I want. Then sprinkle a little turbinado sugar on it and voila, you have a finish that cannot be matched. This cannot be matched. You really can't. This is exciting. You are a genius in the kitchen. Everything <laughs> about this dish that my daughters like is the crust. It tastes like a summer they night. They love the crust. Delicious. It's the best but I love the berries. I'm just a fruit girl, so, you know. Pair it with this great wine that Sarah has chosen for us. I'm telling you guys, I know you guys wish you were here, but you can do this at home. We're gonna continue to eat and, you know, enjoy this. Not to um, make you jealous or anything, but because we just like it. <laughs> Cheers, madam. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, it's the end of the show. Thank you for watching. If you like us, subscribe below. And you can always find me at my website, anniebells.net or you can order any of the luscious desserts that are featured here. Sarah's gonna tell you where you can find this great wine. The Molly Duker is a little elusive. Um, you can find the regular Shiraz generally at any wine store. The sparkling Shiraz, which is a little bit more fun, you might be able to find it at your local wine store. And any grocery store or wine store should carry a lovely ruby port. So, there you have it. Annie Bell's Just Dessert, wine pairing with desserts. See you next time. Say bye, guys. Bye, bye. bye everybody.